Hello, I'm Serge from Swiss Tesla Fan. So in this video, we're going to actually look at changing uh, the wheels of the car to the winter wheels that I purchased with the car. And so we'll be going over to Euromaster uh, to have the wheels installed. Euromaster is the uh, official partner of Tesla in Switzerland. And so I just had to call them up and uh, have the wheels shipped to the local Euromaster where I wanted to go to. And this is already done. Uh, they have the wheels. And now we're just going to go over there and have the wheels installed. And then we'll have a look at the, uh, the final price and uh, any kind of uh, experience that we had with them. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, these are the winter tires installed on the car and uh, we'll have a closer look at them. So as you can see, they're brand new and there's Pirellis. And uh, these are the, the tires that come uh, sold by Tesla. So those are the ones I ordered uh, with the car. And actually the, uh, the aerial uh, wheel covers, uh, those are the ones uh, from the other wheels. They just transferred them uh, as I had them installed at uh, Euromaster. So yeah, that's uh, not much to say, it's just uh, wheels and tires. But let's talk now about uh, the actual whole process. Okay, so if we look at the uh, pressure here, it's not registered yet. So I'm gonna drive a little bit with the car and see if it comes up. Otherwise, maybe we'll have to reset the sensors. So if you need to reset the sensors, it's under service here. And uh, you can say reset TPMS sensors here. So I'll try that if, um, if uh, it doesn't show up but um, hopefully it will. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's talk about the experience uh, with your master. So let's first talk about the price. So I have the bill uh, right here. And actually, so they charged me um, 53.60 uh, Swiss francs for installing the four wheels. So this is not tires, this is wheels. So that's why it's not very expensive. And they charged me 70 uh, Swiss francs uh, to um, store uh, the other uh, tires. So that's something they do. So this is for uh, the season, basically, because once you uh, change tires again. So that means you're um, usually paying that price twice a year. Uh, so it's a grand total of 123.60, uh, which I think is decent. Um, so this is your master, as I mentioned. Uh, it's the official partner in Switzerland. Now, this is something I want to talk about. Uh, them being the official partner in Switzerland, I was expecting pretty much a flawless experience. Um, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Um, for example, um, the mechanic that was maintaining the car uh, didn't even know how to get into the car. And um, basically, he said, oh, my card is not working. And uh, actually... Uh, even had me doubt that the car that was working because it's true I never use it and I tested it afterwards and was working fine so he just didn't know how to use it he was showing me that he was putting it on the camera rather than on the uh, sensor uh, that's on the side pillar so yeah I think that's um, that's uh, already a red flag I would say and then basically well the tires you know it's uh, it's very basic they didn't know about the way that they had to manage the uh, air suspension on uh, the Model X and Model S um, but uh, they didn't know that they had to do something about the configuration of the tires. So uh, I'll show you what actually should have happened. But when I got the car and started driving, it started giving all kinds of errors with the TPMS sensors. And so at first I thought I would just reset the TPMS sensors, but then the car, um, it actually did that. And then the car uh, said that it detected new tires and that should update the wheels. So let me walk you quickly through that, but uh, just before I do that, I just wanted to say, I was kind of surprised that they didn't do it for me. Um, I'm more technically uh, inclined, so I can resolve these issues on my own, but uh, I would say that most people that buy these cars probably wouldn't be, know what to do exactly, or 
might be calling Tesla to solve these issues. So I must say there, your master, you have room to improve, um, at least um, uh, in some of your locations. And I'm guessing it's it maybe in bigger ones. It's not that much of an issue, but um, yeah. Uh, so hopefully also uh, as they gather more experience with this, it'll be more, less of a problem. Anyway, let's look at uh, what should have happened. Okay, so looking at the screen, we have to go here to service. And so here you can say you want to re reset the TPMS sensors, which is what I did initially. So if I go in here, it will actually uh, ask me if I want to uh, so do the factory reset or learn new pressures. I tried the factory reset and didn't do anything. So I tried learning new pressures and uh, that actually seemed to work. But actually, after a while, it gave me a message saying new tires were detected, so uh, you should uh, do that. So what I actually uh, should have done and what they should have done was go here over to wheel configuration and select a wheel size. So in this case, you just keep the one you have and then click confirm. I'm not going to do it now because I, I'm happy with them. But it says changing wheel configuration will impact your car's estimation of range, tire pressure, warning levels, and the car visualization. The car will reboot after con pressing confirm. So I'm not going to do this now, but this is what they should have done and they didn't do. Uh, so just so you know, in case this happens to you, this is how to solve it. Now, also, the thing is that um, as I had played with the TPMS sensors, I was a little bit worried that I had uh, uh, messed up the tire pressure. Um, well, actually, I can't read it here because I'm stopped. But uh, actually, what I did is that I went back to uh, the filling station where I had used the, uh, the machine to uh, pump up the tires. And um, I checked that the readings with the machine were the same readings as I had on the car. And they were. So everything looks good. And I'm guessing that's the end of it. But uh, I was uh, sort of surprised that um, uh, Euromaster uh, did that. So that's it about uh, the uh, changing the winter tire to winter tires uh, at Euromaster uh, with the Tesla. So um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to use the comments below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer you as quickly as possible. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to put a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when, you, when I release a new video. And of course, if you're interested in buying one of these cars, uh, make sure to use a referral code. I'll put mine in the description below. Uh, you'll get uh, free electricity at the supercharger. And uh, it's uh, also something that I will also get. So it's a win-win. And uh, actually, uh, some of you have already started to do that. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. If you do that, uh, make sure to contact me. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to help you with the purchase experience so that it's as smooth as possible. Please don't hesitate. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.